hear about the new additions to the show that we were talking about. You guys talked about the panel, including uh, the new villain. Um, kind of like, how did you arrive on uh, these characters to introduce, and what, a little bit of what we can expect. Obviously, you can't say too much. Well, I think as far as uh, new people that will be working with our team, um, because Shield has crumbled, because we're sort of left with limited resources. Coulson may have to reach outside of the organization, and, and that may entail some uneasy alliances. So even though we're bringing people into the fold who are there to help us, we might not necessarily see eye to eye all the time. So there's lots of conflict. Yeah, and in terms of villains, you know, now we have Hydra in the mix. So uh, <clears throat> we're introducing Daniel Whitehall, who we think will be a nice face for Hydra as we open the season. And Reed Diamond will pull it off famously. I yes. think it's fantastic. Yeah. Something that I love about the show a lot is that obviously you have great original characters, you've been able to successfully bring characters from the comics, and you even had huge Marvel Cinematic Universe characters like Nick Fury and Maria Hill and stuff, but uh, I think it's so cool that you're able to take some of the already existing uh, MCU characters like Sif and Sidwell and right. even Blake who had just been in the one shot and expand on them in a way that they just never would otherwise uh, without right. the show. And I'm just wondering if that's something you continue to hope to do. Oh, if there absolutely. are any specific characters you like a lot that you would like to one day see on the show uh, and kind of give a bigger role. There, there are a few other Asgardians we'd love to come into play. Um, and that's, and that's, you know, that's something that we absolutely love doing, and it's something that we feel very privileged in doing on the show. Um, no other show has the opportunity to, to pull from such a vast universe, as well as a cinematic universe. Um, but yeah, there are many characters that we want to play with. We also have an advantage, which is that everybody wants to be in Marvel movies, so even in these tiny roles, you'll see some actors go, wait, that's a fantastic actor. Let's have him have a whole arc on our show, yeah. you know, because they had one line in that scene. You know? yeah. So it, it, it was we very the nice. benefits yeah. of the Marvel Universe.